Hey, what is up guys, Arcus Pro here. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can root, unlock the bootloader, and flash a custom recovery onto your OnePlus One. Now this will work on all versions of the OnePlus One. So let's just start the video. So just a little disclaimer for you guys, rooting and unlocking the bootloader on the OnePlus One does not void your warranty for OnePlus. So step one, what you want to do is you want to go into your settings. And once you're in your phone settings, you want to scroll down to go down to about phone. And once you are in about phone, you just want to go onto your build number, which is here, and you want to tap that seven times. So once that's done, you have enabled your developer options. So once you have done that, you will have developer options here. Now you just want to go into that, and you want to do two things. First off, is you want to make sure that Android debugging is on, which is just there. And you want to turn off update CM recovery. Now to start the root process, you will need to download uh, first off the ADB drivers, but you also will need to install your drivers for your phone. I will have a link in the description for that. Um, you just need to install these drivers so you can uh, use command prompt and stuff like that to push stuff to your phone, and it just makes the process a lot more easier. So I will have a link in the description for the universal ADB drivers, which will include the OnePlus One. You also will need to download uh, your root software so this can be super su uh, super user something like that you also need to download uh, your recovery so i'm just using twerp so if you want twerp i'll really leave a link in the description for twerp as well and um that's it like once you've done that you can just start the process now first off you will need to put your device into fast boot mode to unlock the bootloader i will be showing you how to do that in a minute but just a little disclaimer this will wipe your whole device this is basically flashing uh, a custom um, recovery onto your phone so it's going to wipe the phone your operating system will still be there but you will lose all your personal data and stuff like that so make sure you do do a backup i don't need to do a backup but if you want to do a backup um, I'll try to find the link for that in the description. I'm actually using just the wonder how to guide to do this tutorial So that's what I'm going to be basing this tutorial off of so you just want to make sure that your USB is plugged into the computer Like so once you have that you just want to put your device into um, Fast boot mode and to do that is just power and volume up. So you just want to power it down first You want to wait for that to power down Wait for the vibration, and once it has, you want to hold the power and volume up. And once you hear vibration, you can let go. And as you can see, it says fast boot mode. So once it is in fast boot mode, you can just connect this to the computer. And I'm just going to show you what to do next from there. Alright guys, so I am on the computer now. I'm sorry the mic quality isn't as good, but once you do have your device connected to the computer in fast boot mode, you will need to go over to CMD or Command Prompt. To do that, you just want to go to Start Menu and type in CMD just like so and click Enter. It will be the only one in the list. And once you are on that, you will get this little window open. And once you are on this little window, you just want to type in ADB Devices just to check if your device is attached. And if it is attached, all should be going well. And once you have done that, you just want to type in the simple code Fast Boot Space OEM Space Unlock. And this should start to unlock the bootloader. It will show you that it's finished and stuff like that. So I'm just going to quickly cut over to the computer now. I mean to the camera now and show you guys what it's like when you've done that. Alright guys, so I've just started to unlock the bootloader. It just is starting to do a reboot now. Before it was just like a little Android guy with something spinning in its hand. This is normal. And you just want to wait for this to reboot. And once this has rebooted, you'll be prompted with the start menu yet again. So you need to reset your phone. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rush through that for you guys now. But once you have done that, you will have a successfully completed unlocked bootloader. And once we have done that, we can start to flash the custom recovery. All right. So it took about a minute and a half for my device to reboot. It might be a little different for you. But once you have uh, booted back up, you just want to go through this. Um, select your specified language. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip through most of this just for the tutorial. And once you have skipped through it, you just want to do what we did at the start of the video and that is going into the uh, settings of the phone and the developer options and stuff. So let's going to go into the settings. Once in the settings, you're going to scroll down to about phone and then in about phone you want to go to the build number and you just want to click that seven times. And once you have enabled developer options, you just want to go into that and once you are in that, you want to 
uh, uncheck the update CM recovery and you want to check the Android debugging and once you have done that you can just plug your device back into the computer but you need to put it in fast boot mode so to do that you just want to power it off and you want to wait for it to power off once you have heard that vibration you want to hold volume up and power at the same time and once you hear vibration you can let go and once it's in fast boot mode you just want to connect that to your computer like so and then we can go back onto the computer and I'm going to show you what to do next. Alright, so once you have unlocked the bootloader and just done what I've said in the video just before this, you want to go back into uh, um, the internet and you want to download the recovery. I'll find a link for Twerp in the description. This is the one I'm using. And once you have got Twerp, you just want to rename it just so it's easy to um, flash it to your phone, so just want to call it TWRP for twerp or TWRP, whichever one you prefer to call it. You want to go back into your start menu, you want to type in CMD yet again. Um, you want to make sure that you're doing this on the same computer with the drive installed or else it won't work. And you want to make sure the Android debugging is checked, which I did say before. So once you have done that, you just want to type in this command fast boot space flash space recovery. Space desktop with a capital forward slash whichever you called your um recovery. So I called it twerp t w r p dot i m g. You only call it dot i m g as that's what the file type is. I'm sorry if you can't hear my keyboard, it's a little bit loud, it's actually a mechanical keyboard. So once you have done that, you just want to hit enter and it's gonna be flashing and writing the recovery to your phone. And once you have done that. Uh, you just want to go out of your phone, I mean you just want to go back to your phone and I'm going to end the recording here and go back onto my phone and show you what to do from there. Alright so once you have flashed the custom recovery onto your phone you just want to reboot your device. Now to do that I had to force shut it down so I had to hold power down and I mean power and volume down and once you have done that you just want to unlock your device and just plug it back into the computer and I'm going to show you what to do next from there. Okay, so once you've plugged your phone back into your computer, you just want to go into it, you want to go to into the storage, and you want to go to where download is, and once you have downloaded your uh, root directory, I'm just using SuperSu, you want to go to where you've downloaded that, I, that just goes straight to my downloads, and once it is there, you just want to drag this into the download section on your phone, you can drag it to wherever you want, I'm just using the download for this tutorial. Um, I'll find a link for SuperSu as well, that's just what I'm using. You can use super user, whatever one you want. But once you have dragged this into your phone, you just want to go back onto your phone and I'm going to show you what to do next. Alright, so this is Twerp. This is the recovery we've just flashed onto our OnePlus One. Now, if you don't know how to get into it, what you want to do is you want to power off your phone and when you're booting up, you want to hold power down. I mean, volume down, sorry, and the power button. And this will boot you into recovery. Once you've heard the vibration, you can let go of the buttons because it'll be booting into recovery. It might take a little longer for the first time you do it. So once you have done that, you just want to go to the top, the first option, which is install. And you want to locate to download where you put SuperSu. Now this is a touch recovery, so you don't need to use the buttons or anything like that. And you want to click on SuperSu. This is the one we just dragged onto our phone. And you just want to flash that. Swipe across, we're going to give it a sec, and once it has uh, been successful, you just want to reboot the system. Alright, so once it has rebooted, you are, you've now officially unlocked the bootloader, flashed your own custom recovery onto your OnePlus One, and rooted your OnePlus One. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I try to give you guys a little bit of a rundown on what to do if you're not really new to this stuff or anything like that. So you, as you can see, I do have super suit right there, um, that's the root file and we can click on that and as you can see there it's fully working and stuff so yeah I hope you guys did enjoy this video keep tuned because I'm really going to be showing you guys in the next video how you can flash Android L Liquid Smooth um, CM12 onto your OnePlus One which is basically stock Android L for the OnePlus One which has been ported and is fully working it's daily driver ready so keep tuned for that so yeah I hope you guys did enjoy this video please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.